Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on the sawmill block from Thermal Expansion. So I've just done a really really basic setup here just to show you guys what this thing can do. Okay so as you can see here we've got power, input and two outputs. Now the reason for two outputs is this one can put out an output of sawdust which I will show in a second. Now I'm just powering this with redstone force which is the power it needs. With all the other redstone things, you can see the power usage and stuff, the redstone controls and the configuration. Because this one's not connected to any pipes, I'm just leaving it as it is. So if you put in a birch lock, well any type of lock, even from mods, this thing's quite com com is very compatible with mods as well. You'll see you get six planks from a single log, and you get a sawdust. And as you can see here, uh, this machine works relatively fast. Now I just want eight pieces of sawdust because I want to show you guys something cool that you can also do with this machine. And I'll just quickly run you through some of the other items. Now this thing can do a lot of items but what it mostly does is it just converts whatever you crafted if it's made from mostly wood back to wood. So a chest from eight planks, a wooden pickaxe. Now it doesn't seem to convert sticks. It converts them back to sawdust instead of planks, so that's an interesting thing to note. But even if you put like a jukebox in there, you can see it will take a little bit longer. But it'll give you the eight wooden planks and the diamond. And the crafting table, it obviously just converts back. You can click here on the arrow. Oh, that's just taking a second. And this will show you all the different recipes that this thing can process. There's how many... 126 of them so that's just something to check out if you want to and as you can see here this is fully you can fully automate this with pipes like even minecraft buildcraft or thermal expansions own now i've just set up this one here to accept and to pump out in the different things so fully compatible now you can take the reason for the sawdust is you can take the sawdust and turn that into compressed sawdust using this recipe. The compressed sawdust you can then put in a furnace or something and as you can see it'll take a little bit but that will be transformed into, I don't want to spoil it now, but that'll be transformed into charcoal which you can then stick back in the furnace and I don't know, cook something else off with. <laughs> so that's the sawmill. I'm not going to go over crafting recipes, you can look it up in not enough items because the crafting recipes can change. So, that has been the cold project, thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this video informational but also fun to watch. Okay, see you guys in the next video.